right to bleed a radiator valve. Um, if your radiator wants bleeding, um, can be difficult to know where they are these days because like on this radiator there's nothing on, on either end to bleed. Um, but have a closer look and you'll find a little insert there. Now we've got to ping that out with your finger. Okay, and it comes out like that. See, it looks like it's, I've bled this before, so it's already um, a bit mucky. Put that down. Um, now there'll be another one on this side. Um, it'll be around the other way. If you want to get the camera around there, you might be able to just see it. Possibly, it's, it's there, just down there. So yeah, yeah, you can see it there. Okay, for so that's for this side, and that one's for this side. So we'll do this one first. Get your key, forty pence from the DIY shop. Put your little bit of cloth there. Um, I mean, there, is a, there are proper receptacles you can get to catch water as well, but you can't be bothered with those. Fit your key in. Now, anti-clockwise is this way, and that's the way we're going to turn it. We're only going to crack it half a turn. If water comes out, it doesn't need bleeding. If air comes out and it makes a sussing noise, a shh, keep it open until the shushing stops. When that stops, you should get water, and that's your radiator bled. So, we're going to ping him open. And that's open now. Can you see the water there? That's because it doesn't need bleeding. It's coming out quite fast here. So we know that one has not got air in it. Shut it back up, turn it clockwise, and that side is done. Okay. And you just repeat the same thing at the other end. Uh, and that should be it. You should have a hot radiator again. If that doesn't work, I'm making another video to show you what else to look for uh, on the next one if bleeding the radiator hasn't cured the problem. Okay.